Uh, ghosts in Hypixel Skyblock. They're commonly used to kill AFKers by fishing them out of the mist and then guiding them into the AFKer and just letting them do their job. Now what if you could AFK ghosts instead? First we need to know what the ghost is. You take the most hated mob in Minecraft, the creeper, then you hit him with one of those which makes him charged and even more hateable and then you make him invisible and add a bit of this and then a bit more of that and then a bit of this and this and a bit more of now if green is the creeper and black is a juju non then you can see the area of effect so anything within four blocks from the creeper will take damage it deals 1000 damage and 102 damage which is quite a lot now if you get within one block of the ghost this damage is double that's a lot of damage this means 2000 damage and 203 damage which can quickly kill most players now if the jujunon gets closer and closer then yeah they also have 1 million hp so why do people farm them mostly for sorrow that is used to craft sorrow armor and can be sold for quite some money ghosts also give good combat xp there are two problems we have to deal with. First of all, deal damage, because they have 1 million HP, and survive their damage, because it's a lot. Ghosts cannot be damaged by ranged weapons and magic weapons, so most people use a soul whip. So my first thought to damage them was by using pets. The guardian pet shoots a laser beam at your enemies, but it only works after you first hit the enemy yourself. The skeleton will shoot arrows, but this does not work on ghosts. The ricochet ability of the golem does not work on ghosts either and it would not deal enough damage. Last but not least, the snowman will use its snow cannon ability but is also ranged damage. The only pet that can actually hit ghosts is the ball pet. It has a fire whip ability and every 5 seconds that you are in combat it will hit nearby enemies for some amount of damage. But this is not enough damage. And what do you do when you can't deal enough damage yourself? you get someone else to do it for you. Now this exact setup is quite important. You need the necromancer weapon with ultimate wise 5 because stronger souls cost a lot of mana to spawn. Now the best souls I have found mana cost wise are master mode admin souls. Now let's take a look at their stats. You can see both of them have 15 million HP and 225 base damage and they can also crit. To spawn both of them at the same time, you need 2500 mana, and this is quite a lot, but there are different methods to get to this amount. My setup is full mythic necrotic wise armor with wisdom 5 on every piece. Now wise armor is very important because of the full set bonus, it makes it so abilities only cost 2 thirds of their original price. Now for pet you need a legendary sheep preferably level 100 with a text book. The sheep also has a mana saver ability which saves an additional 20%. Now to get the rest of the intelligence you would either use mana swap or reforge accessories to bizarre. Now let's see what these souls can do. As you can see they have no problem dealing with ghosts. They do a lot of damage and can deal up to 900,000 damage a hit. Although they can easily take care of ghosts, if you just stand there and afk, you will still quickly die. And this is where your tank setup comes in, to tank the ghost. I have bought full mythic giant boulder armor, as well as a wither cloak sword to hold for the extra defense. Now with this setup I have about 50,000 effective health. Your witherborn will go to the ghost and hit them but not deal actual damage and you still don't have enough healing to survive. So I swapped my helmet for a reaper mask to get more healing. Pet wise there are a couple of viable options. First of all there is the golem pet, the last stand ability is quite nice but since you're not dealing damage yourself it does not really help. The snowman pet is really good but I found that the weaponized honey perk of legendary bee is very very good. There's also the gold pet which amplifies healing and obviously the whale pet you could use. Now what you would do is use your Y set, spawn the souls and then switch into your tank gear. Then you just need to find a nice spot to stand and you can just stand there and watch the ghosts die. They come pretty close but the souls will actually hit the ghosts away from you and this prevents you from taking the maximum amount of damage. I found a pretty big issue though, you need to hit the ghosts at least once in order to get the drops and a soul whip does not work. But luckily I have found a weapon that does, the phantom rod. 
Now all you have to do is get back to your spot and then spam the phantom guard in the direction of the ghost. Once you hit the ghost, you will hear the sound, the souls will come and attack it and you will gain 225 coins as well as the kill credit. Now if there's drops, they will automatically go in your inventory because you have telekinesis. This is a really nice spot to UFK because you're right outside of their 4 block radius. But you cannot use the rod here, so you don't get kill credit. Now if you go a bit further, there is a really nice spot to AFK, just on this last block of snow. You have to angle your rod in between and just go like this. As you can see, you do get the drops this way. Now in the big room on the left side, there is also a pretty nice spot. But as you can see the ghosts get closer to you so they deal a lot more damage and it's more dangerous. You can still die if ghosts get too close or if there's too many of them. So to combat this problem I thought about methods with multiple people and I contacted fellow YouTuber and epic gamer Pauliner. Pauliner is an epic gamer and he makes really good skyblock content. So if this button is red for you make sure to click it but if it's grey don't do anything. I mean, apart from watching his quality content, of course. If two people stand on the same spot, they will both be damaged by the ghost and all of the souls will attack them, killing them super quickly. As you can see, we also barely take any damage because the ghosts die so quick. Ghosts have a unique loot sharing ability, so if both of you are using the phantom rod, then you can actually share the drops as well. This would make this method a lot more profitable and you could even do it with more than two people. As you can see, it's very hard to grief this setup. Even if people bring 10 plus ghosts to you, you could probably survive. The amount of coins you earn really depends on your luck and Zora drops, but it's at least above 1 million an hour. You could also get lucky and get more rare drops. I got a 1 million coin drop from one of these ghosts. Now this method can still be improved and you would make a lot, a lot more money if you use the loot sharing mechanic and do it with multiple people at the same time. I really like making these types of videos, but they are quite expensive and I have spent about half my net worth on gear for this video. So what I'm going to do is auction away most of this gear and put it on my AH. If you're looking for admin souls yourself, be careful. Tor 1 admins will have the same level as Master Mode 1 admins, so don't get scammed. The only way to check is to check the souls in the weapon and check their health and damage. Ample, out.